if Google SketchUp opens like this, choose the template, architectural design, feet and inches, uncheck the box that says always show this on startup, and click start using SketchUp. When you're prompted to download a newer version of SketchUp, just choose Remind Me Later. And you can close the instructor box, this one. To get started, you need to orbit around so that you can see from the sky. So you click, hold, and drag down after you have the orbit tool. And then you need to zoom out. You can use the zoom tool or just scroll using the scroll button in the middle of your mouse. It will take you out too. To get started with a simple rectangular house, the requirement is at least 30 by 40 in the bottom right hand corner. You can see right now that my house is 68 feet 4 and a quarter inches by 43 feet 4 and 5 eighths inches. 50 by 40 at least or bigger. I think I'll leave mine like that. I want to orbit back around so that I can look at the guy from the side. These are the axis. This is the green axis. This is the red axis. It shows you basically the ground. The blue axis points to the sky. I'm going to use the push-pull tool. If I press P on my keyboard, it'll take me to that tool right away. And a typical house is about 8 feet, 11 inches, or call it 9 feet as close as you can get to that. About nine feet, a little bit over. That's perfect. Eight feet, eleven and eleven sixteenths is very close to nine feet. The next thing I want to do is make sure that I can see my whole house by zooming out with that scroll bar, scroll button in be in the middle of the mouse. Get the line tool and find the exact middle on the short end of my house. This is going to give you a roof. Click, hold, and drag. Don't let go until you've come over here and found the exact middle on the other side, midpoint. Orbit around. Press the O button. Orbit around until you're looking at the house from the short end. Get the Move tool. Grab that line. You don't want to grab this. That's going to make a mess. Don't forget about the undo. Grab the line and start dragging it straight up. Straight up. Do you see the black line? That tells me I'm going crooked. If I'm going straight up, it's going to be blue. On the blue axis is straight up. Then you don't have any adjusting to do once it's up. You know that it's absolutely straight. Orbit around. This zoom tool right here will, will zoom you out to a view that everything in your drawing will fit orbit around. I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Got a nice start. Got the roof a little bit big, a little bit tall. As you can see, because I followed the blue axis, it's straight up. <clears throat> um, from there, you go about the business of making doors and windows. A typical door is about seven feet tall. Looking at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen again. That's nine feet, eight feet, seven feet. So they're actually six feet, eight inches, six, ten will do. And about three feet wide. Three feet wide. So pay close attention to the, the details because you'll be graded on how realistic your house is. If the doors are 12 feet tall and 20 feet wide, then you're not going to get all the points. Orbit around a little bit, take a look at that door. 
if I'm unsure about how the um, how I did on the measurements, I can go over here and choose tape measure. Measure the door. Click, hold, drag over here. I can see that it's about three feet wide. Looks kind of small, but it's because wait, I don't have any windows or anything in there. What you need to do to make the door is to pull that out. That's not really a door until you're finished making a door. So I'm going to grab the push-pull tool by pressing P and pull it out a little bit. Now I get the eraser, press E or go up here to the eraser tool and click on those lines. Orbit around so I can see what I'm doing. Get rid of that line, back to the eraser tool. Get rid of, whoops. That wasn't good. Just to zoom in. Get rid of that line, that line. Orbit around. You're always orbiting and zooming. I've got a couple of lines to get rid of. Whoopsie. So if I orbit back around, you can see that I can actually see inside my house. The next thing I need to do is put a floor on this. So orbit under your house, zoom out so you can see the whole thing, put a rectangle on the bottom. It has to be exactly the same as the other one you have. If you have any lines diagonally going across the rectangle, it's not right. Orbit back down. You can watch this video several times if you need to. Front door, back door, I'm not going to do the back door for you. Um, window, very quickly, rectangle. Again, rectangle. Windows can be any size you want, but they typically start about 12 inches down from this line. 12 inches, so about like that. That's the line where I want to be. Get my rectangle tool. I know that I'm 12 inches down or approximately. Make me a nice big picture window or a smaller one. Up to you. It's your house. But if, you, if you've if you seen houses before, you'll, you'll remember that, of course you've seen houses. You'll know that they have the same size window a lot of times. A lot of times. The pointer tool will let you select the window. It'll let you copy it from the menu and paste it. Whoops. I guess we copied the whole house. Undo that. Redo rectangle. Only want to choose the rectangle. Now I'm going to copy that and paste it. Paste goes like this. You actually carry it with you wherever you want to go. Boom. Redo paste. I can paste windows all day long. It doesn't look like a window until you do something. So I'll show you the paint bucket right now. Get to the paint bucket under tools, paint bucket. These are the categories. Actually, I think I'll show you the, the paint bucket in the next video in the next video. That's all for now. If you need to watch this again, just restart it.